Dear participants at the conference, our presentation is entitled Challenges in Career Decision Process for Teenagers from Disadvantaged Area, a presentation which we prepared together with my colleagues Gabriel Mares, <coughs> Venera Mihaela Corocariu and myself Cristina Cătiță Buzoian. We came from Vasile Alexandri University of Bacă. The research question was identifying some categories of challenges in career decision process for teenagers from disadvantaged areas. So in that scope, uh, we um, <coughs> followed the relevant elements that become factors with the potential to influence the decision related to the future career for high school students from economically disadvantaged areas the influence of the specific elements to the pandemic context on their career decision and the existence of a concern connecting vocational training with a life characterized by achieving well-being. The study objectives were the following. The first one, identifying the decisive actors that influence the career decision and their influence in the student's choices. The second one, establishing the information resources appreciated by the students as useful in choosing the further career. The third one, raising students' awareness of the connection between their school learning, career decision and the pandemic context. The fourth one, identifying the impact of training sources and resources on the career decision making. And the last objective, establishing the student position to the future of personal professional development. The analysis of the literature was completed by an exploratory study based on a questionnaire. The procedure was that students fill out the questionnaire administrated online between 4 October and 15 no November 2021. Uh, 107 questionnaires have been returned it from the 150 students who make up the research group. The questionnaire includes closed items, a 5-point chart type scale, grouped into the following dimensions in accordance with the research objectives. The decisive human factors which contribute to the career decision, parents and relatives, teachers and leaders, schoolmates and graduates, friends, public figures, psychoeducational counselor. Sources and information resources considered useful in the career choice process school, online school, internet, television, friends, as well as their impact on career choice. The connection between the COVID pandemic and the career choice, COVID pandemic, online school, and the position of students towards their decisions regarding their future personal and professional development. Adolescence is a time of relevant decisions for the future, all the more so in a time of confusion in this current part of the 21st <coughs> century, including in the field of career. Most students have difficulties in career decision making and feel the need for the support of others in this regard. The term career decision-making process is used in our study as the process people go through when they search for viable career alternatives, compare them and then choose one. The career choice process provides to be difficult and widening. <clears throat> Research has indicated that the student's socioeconomic status influences <clears throat> the career decision-making. Studies show that students who participate in the counseling activities in school and during school can expect positive developments in the decision to choose a career and in sequential professional development. In reviews about the career decision process, the most cited as frequent and relevant human factors are the following. Parents and family, teachers, tutors, mentors, first, <clears throat> friends, career concern, and public figure. Studies show that some students in economically disadvantaged areas are too dependent on the external influences and have less initiative in career decision-making. 
It is suggested that increasing self-confidence and overcoming this situation could be found in the convergence between the student's individual performance, their indirect learning experiences, and the persuasion offered by parents and educators. Sometimes the factor that slows them down or prevents them from making good career decisions is the lack of information. A crucial role is played by families, teachers, career counselors and mentors in ensuring access to relevant and up-to-date resources. No matter how well-intentioned family members, friends, peers may be, there are not, however, career counseling professionals and cannot replace the specialized support provided by a career counselor. Sources and information resources. The specialized literature most often refers to the following sources. School sees an institution able to ensure equal access to correct information on career choice opportunities through periodic announcements the activity of career counselors, newsletters, flyers, classroom presentations. Online school, the current form of ensuring formal education as a reaction to the COVID pandemic, cannot offer equal chances of career counseling the online form rather divides. Internet, with an uncertain impact status, sometimes positive, sometimes negative. National portals bringing together schools and employers. Television provided indirect information or impressions about different careers, sports, entertainment, celebrities, historical personalities, public figures, successful people. The sources and resources highlighted from the a theoretical point of view above are presented in the career decision-making process for all students, but they are manifested in a specific way when we refer to disadvantaged students, where they can gain unexpected impact and significance, all the more in a pandemic period. Both online school and the internet and television are useful sources of information for career decision-making. Nevertheless, while the online school, school is a former, organized environment in which career counselors can schedule or carry out specific activities, the other two sources can generate contradictory effects. Students may be guided in the process of selecting, analyzing and understanding context. In this respect, the observation presented by Temple remains extremely current according to who schools need to be more vigilant for the need of their students. They are often criticized for not preparing graduates for higher education. This does not necessarily mean that it does not provide them with the necessary information, but rather that it does not equip, equip them correctly useful technique to capitalize adequately, beneficially, realistically the opportunities offered by the internet and television as information resources for the career decision-making process. Some findings and discussion about our research. <clears throat> we notice from the data analysis a strong desire for self-determination of students from disadvantaged groups. They want, contrary to previous studies, to be as autonomous as possible and to assume their decision on the career path. The answer, who decides <clears throat> on my career, <clears throat> gained 94% that parents 2.8%, career specialists 1.9% and teachers under 1%. The results on this dimension can be correlated with those that reflect the perspective on the professional future identified as optimistic. Sources of information considered the most useful for choosing a career. People who work in the field of interest to me, the field in which I would like to work, 45%, parents, 32%, teachers, 11%, managers, 20%. Uh, 2.8 percent, school counselors 1.9 percent, an influencer and friends and sites with information about profession under 1 percent. 
From the analysis of the distribution of the heresy of options, we can see that the students from disadvantaged backgrounds have a predominantly pragmatic orientation in choosing sources of information on their future careers. We consider that by choosing the representative of economic environment as the main source of information, these students have a proactive attitude towards the labor market and their training for it. Raising students' awareness of the connection between their school learning, career decision and the pandemic context. We can see that the pandemic and the online school were perceived as factors with a significant impact on the student's career decision. We also notice the relatively high degree of indecision of students, a signal of confusion generated by the 19 COVID context. From the perspective of training for the future career, students consider that the most important role still belongs to school, 20, uh, 27% agree with this statement and 24% and agree with this role of the school. By comparing and analyzing the data in the table, we find that only the internet as a training resource still has an impact considered largely by important by 26% of respondents. The data distribution leads us to consider that objects are aware of the role of social factors around them and their career decision process. By analyzing the distribution of answers, we found out that the perspective of most subjects on the future is optimistic, students being confident in both professional and personal achievements. Another optimistic perspective highlights the fact that the future is emerged as a place where there is a large pool of opportunities to reach, but also to manifest a personal creative potential. Career decision making should be a process that each student, economically disadvantaged or not, can accomplish in his own independent way, choosing that what he wants to do, not what others think sh she should do, after receiving information, support and advice from the factors involved in the process. This ability con connects with the ability to explore the self, knowledge, values, interests, skills, which will lead to a clearer, more appropriate self-image and which will determine personal acceptance, responsibility for decision-making. Given the diversity of human factors involved, existing sources and resources, it is necessary that the counseling services should be able to ensure a high degree of um, congruence between them. Academics need to develop career counseling strategies dedicated to disadvantaged students, practices and programs to ensure more effective career guidance for this category of beneficiaries. Career counseling could create a platform upon which young people from disadvantaged backgrounds approach career decision-making and planning in a more proactive manner. And we found this desire for proactive guidance in the subjects of our research. Temple, <clears throat> some students do not know at the end of the high school where they want to go after graduation. McDonald suggested six ways to improve college access for high school students. Financial knowledge, academic, parallelness, more studying, study, counseling, communication enhancements through the school, community involvement, and more equitable higher education policies. The involvement of university and high school in preparing students' career decision is useful and productive, connecting specialists and counselors, organizing in partnership useful activities for students, giving interesting and accurate information, important in decision about future studies of job. The parents' influence is described as a determining factor that is not comparable in importance to the other possibilities. Some authors establish a close relationship between success in higher education and the student's socioeconomic level of origin, 
which means a higher chance of success for students from families with high economic status and a lower chance for those with disadvantaged economic status, hence the usefulness of some approaches proposed by our project. Sonnen and Goss show that a gap between students from disadvantaged groups and their peers have tripled in the period when the school has no longer face-to-face -face interaction. Once the fundamental causes of the difficulty in the career decision-making process remains the lack of information about qualifications, specialization and type of work, the necessary step in this project self-knowledge, how to obtain the information, additional information, and we must take into account the student's desire for our information from employers and training providers. Thank you for your attention and we meet at the conference.